Hey everybody, um, it's been forever, but I wanted to, uh, this is the end of the season, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, just to give you guys an update before um, I get into next season, um, it's been a long, long time, next year I think I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys, I've been trying to develop this method I'm calling lazy gardening, where you kind of get the garden to the point where you can just set it and forget it. And I am almost there. Um, I hardly ever water. I hardly ever do hardly anything to the garden. Um, very little work that I have to put in, but it actually still produces for me. And for new people who don't want to be bogged down or for busy people who just have too much going on, it's definitely going to be something you guys need to look into. I am I am going to perfect it, try to perfect it uh, this uh, next growing season. Um, the only issue I have to fix is uh, some of the weeding issues. Once I work that out this year, um, or next year, I'm sorry, next growing season, I think um, it's going to be helpful to all, a bunch of you guys. So... Uh, the stars this year have been my herbs. They're still growing. Uh, well, not still growing. We're in the fall, but they're still available. This is thyme. That's oregano. You see the oregano is also going to seed. Um, this is my pineapple sage. Um, it's going to flower. Absolutely beautiful flowers. These flowers attract... Um, hummingbirds it's amazing these flowers are also edible i'm going to be cutting all this back and drying it out and making a tea out of them um, that's what i've been using my pineapple sage for my regular sage got overgrown because i cut it back and then the pineapple sage when this thing got cut back the pineapple sage took over so here's the other sage so I'm going to see which one of these is going to grow back next year. And what I'll do is just probably have one um, side, I mean, one pot that's dedicated to regular sage, one pot that's dedicated to the pineapple sage. Of course, the rosemary is doing well. Um, it's just beautiful. In this fall period of time, it's amazing because all you have to do is just, it, like, the temperatures are so perfect, it doesn't dry out out here, and you just basically use the outside and the, the pots and stuff as the actual refrigerator, so you don't actually have to do anything with it. This is the lavender, uh, grew all year round, hopefully I can see some of that come back better next year my purple um basil is going to seed right now which is awesome Woo! i can just all this the smells are just amazing out here guys this is my second year growing ginger um, i never showed you guys how to do ginger because unlike other gardening channels i don't just like to talk about things because, you know, a lot of the other gardening channels, what they do is they'll watch some other video of somebody who knows how to grow something. And then they follow those initial steps and then they tell you at the beginning how to do those things. But they never go through the whole process and show you actually a harvest because some of them don't even are not even successful with it. But they just talk about it. I don't like to talk about anything that I haven't perfected. This is my second year growing it. It's amazing. I'm about to start harvesting this because you can see the tops are now starting to get that brown color because the temperatures have been dropping low at night. Um, but that's what's up. This year also the stars have been my peppers. Look at this. It's like a Christmas tree. Fully red. All my chili peppers. I just leave them out here. They can dry on the vine if they need to, and I'll pull them when they're dry. All of my bell peppers, you got green, you got red, yellow. They're everywhere. 
on here had orange as well just leave them jalapenos just leave them out here because you know eventually they'll they'll get too too ripe but you know if you don't have room for them in the house don't need to put them in the fridge they'll survive and when you need them the wife is like hey i'm about to make some spaghetti or i'm about to make some tacos or whatever i just come out chop what i need um we use uh I used these dry them out in a large amount because I make my own chili powder and you know red pepper flakes and stuff like that so that's what I use the chilies for and occasionally like you take a red uh, your, your chili that's dried out if you're gonna make like a pot of collard greens or some kale and you just add just a little little bit of heat on it all you do is throw one of those dried ones in the pot good to go um, had string beans growing now they're starting to die but you can see them all over the place I was going to take these because when they get like this this is how you, when you can actually pop these open and whatever you get inside that's how you get your next year's harvest right there so I don't I might keep these I don't know I didn't really like how they grew and so I don't know if I'm going to met rock with them uh, next year. Um, more ginger, I uh, had my chives um, growing all year long. This is the regular chive, this is the garlic chive. These ones had the little heads on them with the flowers. They were amazing, it smells great, just wonderful beautiful flowers. We're attracting bees all year. They're beautiful. Um, the calendula and the, I had several harvests from the um, chamomile. Of course, I'm making teas and stuff out of that. And, you know, my mints and lemon balm and the ginger mint stars. I'm gonna have to cut all of this stuff back, let it dry, and just been amazing. My blueberries were awesome this year. Um, the apples trees are now starting to get, I mean, super thick on the stalk, which is great. Um, one of the issues that I've been having, the reason why I'm not doing a fall uh, grow, is I got too many grass seeds and stuff in my in my beds and so all my beds just continue to get taken over like this and so I have to I might end up next year having to start from scratch um, with my soil so I don't really want to do that because that's expensive but I may have to but this is the problem that I'm having with why I didn't show you guys my lazy gardening method because I have to be able to tame this kind of stuff in order for it to really work um, just show you guys really quick update on my uh, compost it was already it was all I had this thing filled to the top it's already all the way down there so it's good to go uh, basically I'm going to do a few more turns. What I'm also do is grind up a bunch of these dried leaves, put that in there, and do all that good stuff, and then just leave that over for the summer. I mean, over the winter to do its thing. So overall, I had a really good growing season. Again, I was working on the lazy gardening method. Or I had to do very, 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 very little work. Oh, I had got a bunch of good tomatoes this year. Um, we had that storm that knocked over everything. So I couldn't really pick up my uh, cherry tomatoes. They just were too heavy. But I, I was able to get my slicing tomatoes up and ripe. And they were rocking with me for a good long time. So, yeah, we did, we did a good job there. So everything's been great. This was a good gardening season. Hopefully you had one. I'm going to actually pull some ginger. Matter of fact, let's do that now. 
I'm gonna pull some of my ginger from my from the little thing. Look at the little farmer. So let's get let's get this here and let's see just what we got. So here's a little bit of ginger down here. Let me just lift that up like that. Shake it a little bit. Let's see what we got. Nice little ginger right there. Little tiny root. Nothing major. A little something. Let's see what this over here looks like. So, let's pick it up here. Shake it off. And all that's ginger, guys. Oh my God, pretty strong. The scent. Yep, so you cut that off. Uh, cut the green part off and I think I'm supposed to let it sit out for a little while to cure so it can get that hard skin on it. And basically that's it. Let's do some more. see there you go this was the original piece here or was it no this is not the original piece this is the this is a piece too that has hardened up already so yeah this is what we're working with people so just showing you guys a little little something we will talk next year about how to grow your own ginger. And I'll show you guys everything that you need to know about that. One of the things I've been doing with my ginger has, has been making a tea out of it. Oh my God. I'm sorry, not a tea, a lemonade. So I take some mint and you take some of your ginger mint and mix it up in a lemonade with that ginger puts a little spice on there oh man that thing is off the chain oh well hopefully you guys had a great growing season i will talk to you all later get to growing learn something all you newbies who've been waiting take this time from now until march to learn study watch all the videos you can so that when the march comes april comes you're ready to go no more excuses y'all be paying attention with me next year as i teach you guys the lazy gardening method where you don't water hardly ever you hardly do almost anything and you just let the garden do its thing and it produces for you uh, abundantly like this haven't watered out here in forever and they're still just producing all right people peace